Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. It is Tuesday, October 24th. You know what that means? I only have one more week of Blogtober. I can't believe I've managed to do a video every day so far in October, but I did. Okay, one more week to go. The guy can do it. So, I have three items that I finished in the last day or so. One, I'd mentioned that I wanted to make, I said I needed to go through my um, pattern book and see if I had a pattern for this. I found it. I made an eggplant. Now, I was running out of the purple yarn, so I did cut some rows out. So the cap on it looks like a little too big for the egg. That's like more cap than eggplant. But I like the way it turned out. I will probably make more of these. If this sells, I'll make another one. And since I had the light sage out and my book of food patterns out, I made a head of lettuce. The, the leaves, like you can, you can fold them down or let them curl up around the lettuce. And then tonight, I know this, I said that I was going to try to get the dinosaur pattern on my blog today. Didn't happen. I thought, oh, I need to make one more and try moving the eyes a little bit different and see if that works out better. So I made this one. I did, like before I had said, to put the eyes between 10 and 11. And I moved them back up to between 9 and 10. And I think that makes for a little bit better, like more space for the cheeks. And see the eyes are a little bit higher. I made sure they were only 8 stitches apart. Yeah, this is the one where it was hard getting the eyes in there. One, two, three. Four. I'll have to get a picture of them all in the in the light box. So I was like, okay, I think this works. I think Flying dinosaurs. No, that was little. No, that was little. This was big. Okay. So the eye is a little further forward and a little higher. And I put a little more space between the spikes. So the only problem is... I didn't weigh my yarn before I started. When I do a pattern, I like to say, okay, you need 1.4 ounces for this, you know, something like that. I didn't weigh it, so I don't know. So I guess I'm going to have to make another one. This one, I started the head when I came home from work. So I think I had the head done. I finished the head, and then I fell asleep in my chair. Got up and made dinner. Came back and worked on it during Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, and Star Trek. So I finished the body, the tail, the arms, and the sewing in about two hours, other than the head. So... I'm thinking maybe two and a half, three hours for the whole thing. So that's what I like. I like projects where you could start it and finish it in one day. That's why I downsized this. So, okay. I will put up pictures, like one, two, three, four. And you have to let me know which one you like best. <laughs> it's going to be tough. I mean... I think they're all 
really cute. Um, I love this pattern. Now, if only some of them would sell. I had, I had these two at my last, last craft show. I don't think anybody even commented on them. But, you know, having four of them, or by this Friday, Saturday, for the show, I'll probably have five. To have five of them lined up in a row, I think it's really going to be an attention getter. And um, this Saturday, I'm going to sell one this Saturday. You know, if I sold two of them at this Saturday show, that would pay for my table fee. Yeah, I'm just sitting here playing with dinosaurs. The next best thing to playing with yarn is playing with the things you make with the yarn. It's nine o'clock. It's it's the time when I start getting a little silly and yawny. But I usually don't go to sleep until like eleven thirty at night, so I might be able to finish up another one tonight. I will weigh the yarn. Let's see. I have purple, pink. Blue and green. I could make a green one with pink stripes to be like a reverse twin of this guy. Because I still have plenty of the light sage left. And I have a pretty good cake of the um, dusty rose left. That um, right back here, those are two of the trays of scrap yarn. So when I made this guy and I needed a lighter pink for the cheeks it's a piece of cake to find the lighter pink just come back move one tray out of the way so i got the tray with the pink Whoop, there's light pink it is good to be organized if only i could clean up the rest of this mess that is the inventory but i think i'd have to get rid of about half of it to get it into into the closet neatly and have things to the point, the organization point that I would like. So, I don't know. I got the sweetest review on Etsy today. Okay, the story starts back in 2019. Someone ordered a snake from my Etsy shop. And I had made this snake with... I got the ribbon, the metallic looking ribbon yarn. So it was just 16 inches long, a skinny snake, silver metallic. After I shipped it, the woman said in a message that she bought it for her cat. And that her cat loved it. He took it to bed with him. He slept with it every night. He just loved this thing. Okay, that was 2019. She messaged me last week and said, you back in 2019, I ordered this snake from you. My cat has just played with it every day since then. It finally got to the point where he destroyed it. And now he's acting like he lost his best friend. Oh no, the poor kitty cat. I have a grand kitty, so you know, I have a soft spot for cats. Um, so she asked me if I could make another one. And I said, okay, now that I know it's for a cat, I wouldn't recommend using that same yarn with the metallic in it because, you know, if he's chewing on it, you don't want him to ingest the the metallic yarn and all that. So how about if I make it with wool? And she had asked if I could put catnip in it. No problem. I've got catnip. So I made like a 16-inch long snake with a gray wool yarn. Pouring in a little catnip. You know, I put in a little stuffing, little catnip, little stuffing, little catnip. Today, she left the sweetest review saying how I went above and beyond to make this snake and her cat loves it. And he's just rolling around the floor playing with it. And he's happy and she's happy. And oh, I even sent a little catnip mouse with it. And oh, everything. And then she sent me a message on Etsy saying the same thing that, it, he loves it. He's, she's so glad and so thankful. And she just loves my shop. And she's going to buy from me again. And, 
You know, a review like that takes the sting off the crummy craft show from Saturday. I really try like to send a little extra surprise and you know keep the customers happy and all that. So when I get a review where they're just so happy, I made a cat happy. This cat was deep in the depths of despair because he lost, he destroyed his best friend. He no longer had his snake to cuddle with every day. And I fixed that for him. So I made the world a better place for this cat. <laughs> yep. Cat lovers unite. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's my funny story for today. I don't think I have any other funny stories. Just, it was a, it was a good day. I got some organization done. I got a, an errand run that really needed to be done. We collect recycling and we can't just put it out by the street. We've got to take it to the town recycling center, which is six miles away, which I know because it's right across the street from where I grew up. So I know how far it is to the old farm. So, um, so I loaded up my car before I left for work this morning with cardboard and plastic and metal cans and aluminum. And after work, I drove over and just dumped all the stuff and the garage looks so much better now. There's actually more room to pull my car in. So it feels good to check that off my list. I still have not done much as far as my mock setup for Saturday. I need to get these these bins emptied out and get the milk crates stacked and then sort things out so I have just the best sellers. So I need to work on that. But I'd rather make dinosaurs. I'd rather crochet. Okay, before I go back out to crochet a dinosaur, I will get a picture of all four of these dinosaurs together, get individual shots, so I can put them into the video. And you guys can vote. Which one do you like? Boop, 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 boop. And I'll get an Etsy listing up. So I have them on Etsy. That will be... That will help to um, condense, to, to not condense, to mark a few things off one of my lists. I have a list of all the items I have finished and I need to make sure that I put it into my inventory, that I put it on Ravelry, that I put it on Etsy, that I get it into a video, and that I send it in for Amagurumi Wars. So once all those boxes are checked off, I can cross that line off. And right now, the list is like a page and a half long because I haven't been putting things on Etsy. So if I get these dinosaurs on Etsy, that's another accomplishment for the day. Let's see if I can get that done. Okay. Picks, Etsy, edit the video, and then I can play with yarn a little bit. See, I make myself these deals. Bye-bye. Tomorrow's hump day. Tomorrow's the middle of the week. Tomorrow means we're halfway to the weekend. Yeah. Weekend is another craft show. This one's only a $25 table fee. So like I said, two, di two little dinosaurs go. I've made my table fee. So they may be my my um, hot seller this weekend. We'll see. Bye-bye.